Warning, this video contains clips and excerpts of a humorous nature not normally found in math class. These are intended to fight the adolescent condition known as short attention span, found heavily in the modern teen, especially when in school. The only thing you should attempt at home is the math. The rest, you just laugh at. Hi, welcome back to AT Math. Today, 5-4, the slope formula. Why, it's more fun than trying to pet this cat. Okay. Now you saw this quick review last section, so we'll talk about it again. How do you find slope? Remember, slope is simply y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If it's a straight line, it doesn't matter which column I pick. So I'll just pick these again, which is the exact same example I used for last section. So 8 minus 5 over 2 minus 1. 8 minus 5 is 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 over 1 is 3. So I have a slope of 3. Now in this case here, I have 1, 5, 2, 8, 3, 11, 4, 14. I can go ahead and pick, just do the same thing basically, but I'm just taking these two. It's the same exact idea. So instead of taking a circle like this and say I'll do this, I can just take these first two, y2 versus y1, x2 minus x1. The result's the same. Either way you get three. Let's try a U-try. Let's go ahead and find the slope. Remember this is x1 and this is x2. This is y2 and this is y1. And remember y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Go ahead. So you see here 20 minus 5 is 15, 5 minus 2 is 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So a slope of 5. So up 5 over 1, up 5 over 1. Now this works for any two sets of numbers. Try this one. So I'm going to take negative 18 over negative 2 minus 7. Still works the same. Negative 18 minus 9 is negative 27. Negative 2 minus 7 more is negative 9. Top to by bottom is positive 3. Now you might say, how is that possible? Because I went from, well, to give you a very, very rough graph. I basically went from 7, 9, so up here, down to negative 2, negative 18, and it's still up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, so it looks kind of like that. If I could draw a straight line with a mouse, which clearly I can't. Now for a commercial. Okay. And we're back. Now we just do it with a graph. So here you have negative 4 comma 3 and negative 2 comma 4. Now if you take a look, <clears throat> it doesn't matter which is first. I could put this in front if I wanted to. I could put this, well, I could just put, you know, flip them. This could be in front. Makes no difference. But in this case here, I'm going to take 4 minus negative 3 over negative 2 minus negative 4. Really important that you write this out. It's very easy to make a mistake. Notice here how two negatives make a positive and two negatives make a positive, but this is still negative 2 plus 4, which makes positive 2. Easy to mess up. Easy to mess up. How do you not mess it up? Write it out. Look at it. Let both sides of your brain take their moment, and you'll be fine. So the slope is 3.5. Now we'll find what the slope is from this. Now you can follow along, by the way, on page 322, which is right here, since I'm so squared away right now. 321. And 322. 6x minus 5y equals 30, so you can follow along in your book if you wish. Well, I have this here. I can find the slope just by covering up the other one. If you remember, I'll cover this up to find 6x equals 30. Divide both sides by 6, x equals 5. Now remember, I'm finding the intercept. I'm not finding the slope. I'm just finding where it cuts into the y and x intercept. And if I cover this one up here, okay, negative 5y equals 30. 
divide both sides by negative 5, and you get y equals negative 6. Now when I have these two points, I have 5 comma 0, because remember when x equals 5, hi son, y equals 0, and when y equals negative 6, x equals 0. So now we can just find the slope. Now you might say, wait a minute, how am I going to find the slope of this? Well basically, from, zero to neg from negative 6 to 0, negative 6 minus 0, and 0 minus 5, so basically I have negative 6 minus 0 is negative 6, 0 minus 5 is negative 5, I get 1.2 take a look at the book you see the same thing so they did a little different because they had negative six minus zero and zero minus five makes no difference though I had one instead of the other either way is going to be 1.2 is my slope or six fifths whichever you prefer you try in fact let's go ahead and borrow this handy dandy hand alright go ahead and try already well, let's see how you did well, I'm going to cover this up like this, and I'm going to get x equals 5. And I'm going to go ahead and cover it up like this, and get y equals 10. And now, when x is 5, so 5 comma 0, and when y is 10, 0 comma 10, basically 10 minus 0 is 10, and 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So I'm getting 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2 is my slope. And if I wanted to be really squared away about it, I could go ahead and insert a graph here. So insert graph. Cartesian graph is fine. Hey, where'd you go? Hey, come on down here now. I don't need you up there. I need you down here in the action. Wouldn't you know it? All right. So if you notice here, well, uh, you know, it's just never easy. Well, when you do something on camera, you guarantee it's never going to be easy. All right, so I have x equals 5, which is right here. y equals 10. Notice these two are here. Make a line. Notice how it cuts through and basically down 2 over 1, 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 for eternity because it's a straight line. All right.